Hey friends, welcome to the video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about medication when it comes to DPDR and anxiety recovery. Should you have it, should you not have it? What are the positives and what are the drawbacks? And for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dan and I help people recover from DPDR and anxiety using coaching. And if you are a subscriber, then welcome back. So first of all, it's very obvious that I'm not a doctor and I'm not here to tell you if you should or if you shouldn't take medication and if you should, what type you should take and all the different types and all of that type of stuff. That's a conversation with you and your doctor. This is more about a general overview about what people who go through recovery and who are on medication or who aren't on medication, some of the questions they ask and some of the things that they experience when they're going through it. I've worked with people who have been on medication people who have not been on medication and then gone on to have medication while we've been having our sessions and also people who have changed their medication and people who have also started calming off their medication and of course people that don't have any medication at all. So basically I've worked with the whole sort of gamut that you can have with regarding medication. So whether you decide to go on medication or not, one thing that's important to realize is that medication isn't going to teach you how to change your thinking and that is really at the core issue but that's not to say that it's bad at all because i've seen people who have gone on to medication while we've been having sessions and they actually say i feel a lot better and that is really the key to medication just from my experience of working people and what they've told to me is that it's gotten them from down here up to here it's gotten them to a point of just not being able to do anything to a point of actually being able to do something. And that's really amazing because when it comes to dealing and processing and getting over DPDR and anxiety, it basically, the vast majority of it is all what happens in your mind. It's all what you're thinking and what you're doing. All of these behaviors are leading to anxiety. And so therefore all these behaviors too will lead you out of anxiety. And so some people, they find that medication really helps them because it just, it just settles everything a little bit. You know, it allows them to focus on the important things, which is getting out of anxiety and DPDR. Another thing with medication that you're gonna go through is there is gonna be that transition period of not being on it to the meds coming into full effect. And this can sort of be a bit of a, a, a difficult time or just like an uneasy feeling time because obviously your body's starting to get used to all the new chemicals that are going through it. But once you do sort of breach that and get past that point, then you know things are gonna start working properly. And I went through this as well when I went on medication. I went on to SSRIs. I didn't really wanna do it, but the doctor said, oh, look, give it a try, see how you go, see how you feel. And I'm like, all right, I'll give it a go and see how I feel. I had it for about three weeks and I utterly completely hated how it made me feel. And I know that I didn't get past that sort of pain barrier, so to speak, in terms of all the meds actually properly working. But from, I mean, initially I didn't even want to take them at all. I just wanted to be able to tackle this, you know, sort of without the aid of medication. And in the end I was able to do it. But when I first went on them, it, you know, it made me jittery, it made me, just not feel like myself and I didn't like it at all. And so this is pretty bad, but I didn't even talk to the doctor about stopping them. Obviously when you are on meds, you shouldn't just cold turkey stop them. But I just made the decision myself that look, I don't want these. I've only had them for three weeks. It's not a whole lot of time. I'm just gonna get off them right now. And that decision within itself actually made me feel a lot better. And it's like, all right, cool. The question of if I should have meds or not has been answered. And the answer is no, I'm not gonna have them. But that was me, my personal decision that I made myself. And obviously you've gotta make your own personal decision based on the advice and guidance of the people who are subscribing you these meds. And with some of the people that I've worked with who have been on medication, I've actually seen the difference. They do say that they feel a lot calmer and they feel a lot better from doing it. And that's completely and utterly amazing. And they've actually said to me too, you know, Dan, this isn't a long-term plan for me. I don't intend to be on these forever, but I just need it right now as something, an extra thing which is gonna help me to be able to get through this. And that's a really important thing too, is that these medications aren't meant to be long-term. And you can ask your doctor about that, you know, what are the long-term effects of this? What 
are some alternatives that I can have, you know, if there are any out there for this. So the question of should you have meds or shouldn't you have them is really a personal decision for you and between you and your doctor. I've seen every side of it. I've seen it help, I've seen it not help. I've seen people recover on them. I've seen people recover not on them. I've seen people go on them. I've seen people come off them, you know, with all varying effects as well. So basically everyone is different. There's no sort of true answer to be able to give here. And so my friends, I hope this video has been useful to you. And if you do want to get in touch with me to talk about how I help people with coaching and how you can recover with me helping you, then book a free discovery call. It's completely free and there's no obligations whatsoever. And we can have a chat, see what's going on with you, see how I can help and so I can better understand your story and what you're going through. So until next time, my friends, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.